I just love getting in the music. Just like, mm, mm, yeah, mm. <laughs> I did AS level dance, I'll have you know. I just like, like popping. And my piece was Fat Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland, and I just sat on a box. Body roll beat. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you can sing, you can dance, you can scream and go wild, but please express to me, with your bodies, how you're feeling. Congratulations. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Guys, congratulations. Winners of BGT 2014, how are you feeling? It's absolutely surreal, you know, we're still on the stage, we don't really know what's happening, but it's uh, an absolutely incredible feeling and we're all just... You know, over the moon, buzzing. Yeah. Seriously, when we went for our first audition, we had no idea that we'd we'd be winning Britain's Got Talent. We had no idea that I'd be here right now telling you that we we like we've won Britain's Got Talent. Unbelievable. There's no words to describe. I mean, I mean, we did Britain's Got More Talent, and Stephen Mahon was like, "How are you feeling?" And Tom just goes. <laughs> like you, just, you just don't know. Why I ask you for a visceral reaction? Because <laughs> yeah. that is the only way. I mean, I fell to the floor. Jamie ran to the back of the stage. I nearly um, jumped you're, on the judges' table. You're, punch, you're, you're in a, an invisible boxing match, yeah. just punching the air. Um, no, it, it was just unbelievable, and the support we've had just crazy. But yeah. We've had some great support from. Older ladies and younger, la younger girls as well, and we're just so grateful because we know they were all sitting at home voting. And I mean, the odd lingerie picture, I mean, <laughs> gives us a bit of, you know, we, we like to know who our fans are, and it, we. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great way of getting it. Yeah. Not the upper key picture. No, nothing, <laughs> nothing too bad. That and, was very political. And <laughs> uh, who did you have your money on? We thought Bam had it in the bag, but Lucy pulled it out of the bag on the night. Like, literally, she was just absolutely incredible, and um, she's got cr such a nice cracking voice. I think she's like, where are you going with this? <laughs> well, because she went such <laughs> a nice, and then sort of, sort of set me up. She's but no, she's, person, she is it. such a nice person. Uh, actually, will you have any BGT BFFs after this? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, well, uh, you know what? We, we got really close to all of the acts that were there, but um, especially uh, John Clegg. I live with my mum and dad and uh, he literally lives over the road, so I'm just going to pop round for a bit of light entertainment in the evening. Uh, also, le Lettuce was so funny, like, she just yeah. cracking, yeah, it's like, Ooh. you can't get a word in Edgeways with her, because she just goes, Ooh! and then at the end she's like, champagne, champagne for everyone! <laughs> like, <you do. laughs> Talking about the end of the show, how did you celebrate? What mm. was that party like? Oh, it was well, really, really good. I mean, to be honest, we went, um, we went to the studios, they had like a cafe that they turned into this like bar disco. with disco <laughs> yeah. and the songs were great. I mean we were dancing, Richard was doing his world famous body roll. Yeah. Um, no, no, someone put like some let's get a beat going. Like, some, you never normally do body roll beat. I just like pop in and I just I love it. I look like an idiot, but no, I, I just I just love getting in the music. <laughs> just like mm, mm, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, yeah. you look like a really embarrassed son. <laughs> <laughs> Richard is like the um, no Richard uh, dances. He's the life of the party all of the time. Um, whenever there's dancing on, I remember we went out a couple of months ago and he was on a podium um, in nothing but uh, you know doing, doing that role. And braces in nothing yeah, but a pair of shoes. He was he's always the life of the problem. party. He's always getting the rounds in. Getting the rounds in. Getting the shots around. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. And it will never leave your head. Yeah. It will never leave your head. Exactly. Um, I hear actually you, you're a bit of a pep talker. You, you got you guys all in the mood. Uh, how do you deliver your pep talk? I'm just, you know, it comes uh, it comes from years of rugby and just getting the boys in. The last one I sort of had a little think about what I could say. But, um, you know, just get all the boys in and we just sort of say, do it for your family, this and the other. Like, you want this, sort of bang on this. And I'm like, sort of, people are looking down. I'm like, guys, look into each other's eyes. We've got this. We're going to go out there and do this. It, it just, it's just the feeling that we all get. We've all got this incredible bubble inside that we just want to perform and, with, our, with our hearts. And, uh, and that, that's just how I do it. And they do it, everyone. We, but we all do it together. And he goes, oh. That's the, I'll be honest. Yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, was more scared about the, I was more scared about the speech than going on the stage. Before I leave you, uh, what are you going to do with the money? I'm going to, I'm going to buy my mum a horse. Um, that, is, that is wonderful. She's always wanted a horse, so. I didn't say a real one, but I'm going to get her a horse. Um, I think I might buy some new shoes to meet the Queen in. Yeah. Back to the other boys, I think, um, no, I, I want to uh, pay off my mum and dad's uh, mortgage. And yeah, my sister's just given birth, so I've got a nephew now, so I just want to spoil him rotten, hopefully. Everybody's got these grand ideas, and I, my, I'm shooting for the stars. I really want just want to wash a dryer. 
I'm, I'm really, I'm really, really gunning for that washer dryer. I'm you just, get that washer I know dryer. I will. I'll you go. I'll reach dream. for the stars and I'll get my dream. Get it. Get through. It better be this amazing sort of alien contraption that you spend thousands of pounds on. It's gonna sing. It's the gonna builder. dance. It's actually just gonna I'm, go. No, gonna I'm, I'm not gonna have to go. I'm not gonna have to go on stage again. It's this just, washer dryer is gonna do everything for me. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm gonna love it so much, I'll just be washing and drying all the time. Might buy some more clothes. Yeah. I might buy two. I might open a business. <laughs> Jamie, what will you do? I'll be taking my mum to the Maldives. Aww. Aww. She's just emotional. Emotional. On the lads' holiday, we're all good. Yeah, on the lads' holiday. <laughs> on the lads' holiday. Yeah. My mum will come on the lads' holiday. She's fine. Well, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Can we look forward to an album, to maybe a Christmas single? We would absolutely love to do all of those things. I mean, I think there are talks at the minute with something going on back behind the scenes, and we would just love to take any opportunity we can. Deal with Psycho, baby. We really hope so. <laughs> we really hope so. Yeah, that's uh, that's the. Uh, We're just so dream. grateful to everyone that voted, and we just want to keep producing music and get Calabra out there and show the world what we've got. One, two, three. Calabra!